Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Just before we jump into the Google Maps and the air code stuff, I just wanted to quickly explain uh, that I have come to a decision uh, with the channel, with the, the next few videos on the channel. Um, and this is after considering a lot of your comments that were based on a previous video of mine when I briefly showed you a quick drone shot of my house that I had built. There were countless questions on that video um, and comments really complimenting the house, asking a few questions about the house. Um, so the fact is I have gigabytes if not terabytes of footage running through the whole build. So one of the series I'd like to run on this channel would be documenting that build process. If that's not your thing, of course, I will have other videos coming through on a day-to-day, week-to-week basis as well. Uh, but I'd like to document the house not only for myself, but for you guys as well. Um, it's not so easy to build a, a house in Ireland at the moment in the year 2022, which we're currently in. Um, so I think it would be cool to kind of educate younger people coming through how to actually do it, where to start. Um, and overall uh, what it's gonna to take to actually do so. But first, there is one overwhelming question I do get about the house uh, when I'm speaking to people who have just built or are building their home, and that is how do you get your air code, which is a zip code in other countries, um, on Google Maps? So how do you get your air code on Google Maps? Now there are two big steps to this, in my opinion. The first you might see in other videos or blog posts or Facebook groups about building, and that is actually technically doing it. So I will take you through that very expected way to do so. But the other step in the process is really what I feel actually moved the needle and actually made it become a reality. And I'll cover that a little bit later in the video once I have step one done. The reason getting your air code is obviously important for building and regulations point of view, but also you've just built a new house, um, couriers, um, post, mail, uh, friends and family who just wanna come and visit your new home. Uh, they're all going to want to need your air code. So this is quite an important video in terms of the chronological order of things to do with the house build footage. This is way, way in the end. So in my next few videos, I'll probably be starting back at the planning permission phase. Anyway, let's get on with getting your air code on Google Maps quickly. So first of all, you'll go to the air code website um, and get your air code if you have it. Um, you might have it on some other documentation as well. So just grab your air code and have it close to hand. Step two is, of course, going to Google Maps itself and actually finding the location on Google Maps. So do your very best to pinpoint it really, really, really well. If you zoom into Google Maps like I am now, um, if your home has been around a little while, um, Google Maps may have rescanned. And if you click on layers, you'll actually get a view. So you may be able to actually, well, let's take this one, for example, your home might actually be on the map. So you know exactly where you need to drop your pin. So let's pretend this little um, shed or cabin here is actually the home that we want to uh, register. What you need to do is find it first, then right click, click on what's here. At the very bottom of the page, then once you right click and select what's here, is you'll notice a little box pop up. So actually click on that box. Nothing much happens here except it kind of zooms out a small bit. Uh, what you need to do next in the next step is actually click on send feedback. So it's actually quite difficult to see. But down the bottom right hand side, you'll see map data, Ireland, terms, privacy, send feedback. Click on send feedback. Then a box on the top left hand side will actually pop up as well. And the first option there is wrong pin location or address. There's also options to add a missing place, add or fix a road, wrong information that already exists, or give some feedback on your general opinions about maps. When you then go to click on wrong pin location or address, a little box in the middle of the screen will pop up. Um, just put in your country street address. Uh, this is just auto populating for me, your local town, city, and that air code. That's extremely, extremely important. Google will then give you another opportunity to make sure your pinpoint is at the exact location of the home. Um, I'm confident it is in this case and it's just for an example anyway, just make sure you have it right. Once you have it all filled out, click on submit. You'll get a little box just to say thank you for the feedback and somebody will review the suggestion. Now guys, on to the second step, um, which is kind of completely outside of Google Maps really. So what happened is I'm part of a self build and renovations Facebook group in Ireland and if you're building a house in Ireland you probably are too, there's quite a lot of members. Um, this was back in 2020 when I actually was building the house at the time. What happened was that somebody was trying to get their air code onto Google Maps and one person in the thread mentioned kind of a far out idea was to tweet at Google Maps. There was actually a lot of people on the post that day 
and a lot of commenters. One by one, they actually began going to Twitter and tweeting at Google Maps. There was quite a flurry and there was uh, hundreds of people who had actually gone over to Twitter, like I'm showing here on screen now. Um, so after I gave them a very quick tweet and followed them, they sent me a quick DM and they asked for a dropped pin on the house. So what I did was I went back to Google Maps, uh, click the same as I did previously, then click on the little box that appears and then click on share. Grab this copy link and then po I posted it into the chat with Google Maps. It was done within about a week or maybe a second week, I'm not quite sure. And so guys, that's really it. I know it sounds a little bit hacky, a little bit silly, but sometimes you just have to kick and scream and he or she who kicks and screams the loudest gets what they want. Um, so definitely, absolutely implement it through the first method, which is doing it technically on Google Maps with your computer. But secondly, I really, really, really believe and feel that you need to let Google Maps know and tweeting at them is the way to get this sorted. I've revisited the self-built Facebook group and I've seen other people have been successful at this as well. And this is a really, really simple thing to do. It takes two minutes. And if you are like me in 2020, um, it's really, really frustrating not to have your air code up on Google Maps. It's not air code's responsibility. Is it Google Maps responsibility? Maybe so. But anyway, push the envelope um, and get that air code up on Google Maps and you won't look back. If you like this video and you want to follow along to see the full house build start to finish, um, then please do subscribe to the channel. I appreciate your time watching this video and uh, hopefully see you in the next one.